Well, they are banned in our state, said to be extremely dangerous, even deadly. But police say it is close to impossible to crack down on these things. So scary. We're talking about synthetic drugs, and ABC 15's Elizabeth Irwin is about to show you why the problem is putting all of our safety at risk. Testing for something like this is easy. Testing once it gets into your bloodstream, not so much. We know the synthetic drug problem in our state is a big deal. With new chemicals popping up all the time, it's hard for your lawmakers and law enforcement to keep up. Well, it's very difficult because, you know, good synthetic chemists can, can just change it slightly. Here at the Department of Public Safety Crime Lab, they can test most synthetics and know what they are. The problem figuring it all out starts after it's in your system. No lab in the state tests for the synthetic cannabinoids. Uh, and very few around the country. Which means when cops bust someone who's used bath salts or spice, for example, there really isn't anyone to test the blood for the synthetic so they can be prosecuted. But that doesn't mean the blood isn't tested anyway, and a lot of the time... We find a drug other than a synthetic drug like bath salts or spice, so they can still charge uh, for DUI impairment without necessarily finding a synthetic drug. The reason is this. Testing to figure out what's in your system when it's synthetic takes a lot of time and a lot of money. And by the time scientists figure out what they're looking at... We would be validating a drug that we probably won't see anymore in six or eight months. Because the ingredients in these drugs just keep changing, the people doing the testing are going to rely on your state lawmakers to keep up with these ever-changing compounds. Reporting in Phoenix, Elizabeth Irwin, ABC 15 News.